Pollination Pollination is the process by which pollen is transferred from the male reproductive organ, anther, to the female reproductive organ, stigma, of a flower, which then leads to fertilization and the formation of seeds. This transfer of pollen can occur through various mechanisms, including wind, water, or through the action of animals such as bees, butterflies, and birds, which are important pollinators. Pollination is essential for the reproduction of many plant species and plays a critical role in maintaining natural ecosystems and human food production. Types of Pollination There are two types of pollination self-pollination and cross-pollination. Self-pollination occurs when the pollen from the anther of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the same flower, or to another flower on the same plant. This type of pollination ensures that a plant can reproduce even when there are no pollinators around. Cross-pollination occurs when pollen is transferred from the anther of a flower on one plant to the stigma of a flower on another plant of the same species. This type of pollination allows for genetic diversity and is important for maintaining healthy populations of many plant species. Cross-pollination can occur through various mechanisms, such as wind, water, and animals like bees, butterflies, and birds. Agents of pollination. There are several agents of pollination, including 1. Wind. Some plants, such as grasses and trees, rely on wind to carry their pollen from one flower to another. 2. Water. In aquatic plants, water acts as the medium to transfer pollen from the male reproductive structure to the female reproductive structure. 3. Animals. Many plants rely on animals such as bees, birds, butterflies, moths, flies, and beetles to transfer pollen from one flower to another. These animals visit flowers in search of food such as nectar and pollen, and in the process, pick up pollen from the anthers and transport it to the stigma of the next flower they visit. Different pollinators are attracted to different types of flowers. For example, bees are attracted to brightly colored flowers with sweet fragrances, while birds are attracted to brightly colored, nectar-rich flowers. The type of pollinator attracted to a flower is also influenced by the flower's shape, size, and scent. Characteristics of wind-pollinated flowers Flowers that are adapted for wind pollination have a number of distinctive characteristics, including 1. Small and inconspicuous flowers with no or very little fragrance, as they do not need to attract animals for pollination. 2. Reduced or absent petals and sepals, and a simple, exposed reproductive structure that makes it easier for the pollen to be carried by the wind. 3. A large number of small, Lightweight pollen grains that can be easily carried by wind currents over long distances. 4. The presence of feathery or hair-like structures, stigmas, that can capture the pollen as it drifts by. 5. Production of large quantities of pollen to increase the chances that some will reach the stigma and result in successful pollination. 6. Lack of nectar or other rewards for pollinators, as wind-pollinated flowers do not rely on animals to transfer pollen. Examples of wind-pollinated plants include grasses, trees such as oak and pine, and many weeds. Characteristics of insect-pollinated flowers. Flowers that are adapted for insect pollination have a number of distinctive characteristics, including 1. Brightly colored, often with markings that serve as visual cues to attract pollinators. 2. Fragrant, with a scent that can be detected by insects from a distance. 3. Various shapes and sizes that are adapted to the specific pollinators they are targeting, such as long tubular flowers for hummingbirds and moths, or shallow flowers for bees. 4. Production of nectar, a sugary liquid that serves as a reward for pollinators and encourages them to visit the flower. 5. Placement of reproductive structures, stigmas and anthers, in a way that makes it more likely for the insect to brush against them and transfer pollen. 6. Production of moderate amounts of pollen which sticks to the bodies of pollinators and is transferred to other flowers. Examples of insect-pollinated plants include many agricultural crops such as apples, sunflowers, and strawberries, as well as wildflowers such as daisies and wild rose. Revision Exercise 1. Define the term pollination. Pollination is the process by which pollen from the male reproductive structure, anther, of a flower is transferred to the female reproductive structure, stigma, of the same or a different, flower, leading to fertilization and seed production. 2. State and explain the two types of pollination. The two types of pollination are 1. Self-pollination. In self-pollination, 
pollen from the anther of a flower is transferred to the stigma of the same flower or another flower on the same plant. This can occur through wind, water, or self-fertilization where the flower has both male and female reproductive structures. Self-pollination ensures reproductive success even in situations where there is a scarcity of pollinators or flowers are isolated from other plants. 2. Cross-pollination. Cross-pollination is the transfer of pollen from the anther of a flower in one plant to the stigma of a flower in another plant of the same species. Cross-pollination requires the involvement of an external agent such as insects, birds, bats, or wind to transfer the pollen. This type of pollination leads to genetic diversity and increases the chances of successful fertilization due to the mixing of genes from different individuals. 3. Outline the characteristics of insect-pollinated flowers. The characteristics of insect-pollinated flowers are 1. Brightly colored petals, often with contrasting markings or patterns that serve as visual cues to attract pollinators. 2. Fragrant with a scent that can attract insects from some distance. 3. Nectar-producing glands that reward pollinators and increase their visitation frequency. 4. A variety of shapes and sizes adapted to different pollinators, like long narrow flowers for hummingbirds, or short tube flowers for bees. 5. Placement of reproductive structures, such as stamens and pistils, to facilitate contact with the pollinator during feeding. 6. Sticky pollen in various anthers that can adhere to the body of the pollinator and transport to the stigma of another flower. 7. Moderate to high pollen production that increases the chances of cross-pollination. Examples of insect-pollinated plants include sunflowers, apples, and strawberries.